UFO lawyer Danny Sheehan was on the Big Thing podcast with Christian Harloff and dropped a couple bombshells. Let's jump in and see what this is all about. If you're new to the channel, y'all, and you like content like this, please hit that subscribe button. I put out a new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do not miss a day. And please hit that like button, betters. That really helps out the videos. So thank y'all so much for the support there. And of course, comment down below. What do you think of Danny Sheehan's comments about Lou Elizondo's book, The Whistleblowers coming out? Let's dive in. All right, first clip. Got it lined up. This is an update on Lou's book, Lou Elizondo's book. Part on Tuesdays, I've dove into this subject because I watched this program on, um, uh, it was on National Geographic, and it was the five part about discovering UFOs, discovering the unknown. And I saw your, I saw a bunch of different people the, about the New York Times article, and I've... Pay attention to Danny. He's on his phone, right? That'll come into play here in a second. On down the rabbit hole. As I learn this, the names, I have seen a lot of what you have done, sir. And I wanted to talk to you first. The first thing I wanted to bring up was Lou Elizondo and how important, obviously, he is to all of this. And there's this news about his book. And the last time on a recent podcast, you had said that at that time that we were going to get his book in roughly like six weeks. And there's been recent disinformation on that. Do you have any updates about the book itself? Uh, no, just I'm, I'm actually sending a I, I've just got a text from Lou. Just a second. <laughs> no, the, 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 the thing is, that the the book, the book is in front of uh, the Defense Department uh, pre-publication uh, review and security group. Dop, sir. Uh, and that they've been dragging their heels. There's only a, a few spots where they're kind of kibitzing with him uh, about what, what they're, they're saying is that what he has said in the book in a couple places does not, in fact, directly reveal any uh, uh, information that is national security information, but they're concerned that it might lead people in the direction of looking at some of some of it. And, uh, and so they're going back and forth a little bit. Uh, so it's, it's held it up. So I don't know how long ago it was that I was asked about that, but uh, we're still we're still he's still uh, tre walking back and forth like an expectant father, you know, waiting, right. waiting for word from them uh, and to to release that. So he, he's got it all written. It's all edited. And they're just doing that review. Uh, and there have only been a few places where there was any controversy at all. But uh, that uh, I, I I just sent a note to him to find out when he's expecting it to be released. Uh, but we'll we'll find out. Yeah, because, I mean, obviously, this is a highly anticipated book and everything that he... Great question from Christian. Um, please go check out the full interview. It's well worth it. Um, it's a great conversation between Christian and um, Danny. And, again, I love what Christian brings to this topic. Um, and I love the conversations that he has, to be honest with you. So, please go check out the full interview link in the description all right let's go on to one more clip that i have there's way more than this um to cover in this interview so you know all the little nuggets i'm not going to be covering but these two that i found very interesting so uh, real quick that that last one where he's talking about the loose book and that was on the unraveling uh the mysteries podcast with ben we've covered Ben has asked questions for me to Danny Sheehan on that podcast. So that, that was the original. It was like three months ago. So if you want to find that, um, I also made a video about it. So I'll put a link in the description. Um, again, that was Danny Sheehan saying uh, lose books, six weeks, all that, blah, blah, blah. Same interview. He talked about 40 whistleblowers coming out. Same, same exact interview. When it, when it... So real quick, that, you know. Christian following up on these statements made by Danny Sheehan in a nice, professional, courteous way, right? Which is exactly what I would do if Danny came on the show, right? I know they've declined an interview with me and everybody's blocking, vetting, all this stuff. But to be honest, this is exactly how I would do it. I would just ask, hey, what's the update with this? What's a, you said this before. What's the update? That's it. It's, it's, it's insane to me that people think I'm some scary monster or something. Um, yeah. All right, let's continue. 
comes to why they wouldn't want it and what what they're fighting against i think it's just because as, as that you again you mentioned earlier the frustration side of it and the idea that i am now um on i, I just am in this place where i think that well they're going to push they're going to block it they're going to do something it, we're not going to get these hearings we're not going to get these things and i start to get into like a pessimistic mode right because you mentioned these particular whistleblowers that are coming through or new new witnesses and i asked i asked tim gallaudet when he was on the show and i heard you say the same thing when ross colher asked you he asked you if you would testify you said yes i asked tim gallaudet if he would testify he said yes um I think that, you know, when you hear uh, James Lukaski talking about the things that he had seen and the breaching of the hole and the stuff that he talked to about with Jeremy Corbell, that they would want to get him. I would think that Carl Nell would be somebody that they would want to get. Do you have any idea? Do you have any clue of who you think would be the, the people that should come forward, would come forward? And do you stick with the fact that you would absolutely go in there and testify yourself? Great question, oh, yeah, but, Christian. Yeah, but we're the, the ones you've mentioned are not the, are not the key people. Uh, the key people are the ones who've laid their hands directly on the crap. Yeah. You know, uh, they are the ones who may have engaged in a program to actually. Hang on. Let me just stop the presses. Yes, Danny. I agree. That's what we are all waiting for. Those are the key people. I'm happy to hear Danny say that, to be honest with you. Right. He's not saying I'm a key person. This He's saying no. The people that have touched the crap. So, gosh, that is good to hear. Um, that, honestly, that is good news to hear that that's where the mindset is. Because if it's not, we're screwed, right? But the fact they, they are seeing that, that those are the key people that need to come forward. Better bring them down. Let me back you know? that up. Uh, they are the ones who may have engaged in a program to actually try to bring them down, okay. uh, you know, to recover their technology. Uh, it's the kind of people that are directly involved in the back engineering program. He's saying bring them down, meaning shoot these um, spaceships, craft, I guess we'll say. You know, that can get, uh, it's the kind of people that are directly involved in the back engineering program, you know, that can give the, give the Congress and the public the details of what it is they've been doing. You know, not secondhand information, hearsay information. I was able to provide to Sean Kirkpatrick and Arrow <clears throat> the fact that I had seen the photographs, right. you know, uh, in an official capacity of a, of a crash recovery. There wasn't any doubt about what it was. So clearly they had a crash recovery. Program, We've covered that, too. I'll know, put a link in the description. So I could tell him that. So it clearly is untrue for them to come out publicly and say they have been frighted. No credible evidence that there is a crash recovery program. <laughs> you yeah. know, I mean, that just was false. You know, but the, but the bottom line is when you bring a person forward who says, you know, not not only, you know, have I seen photographs of well, hang on, let me stop Danny there. Look, let, let's be real. For Arrow to not, for Arrow to say, if Arrow would have come out and said, there is evidence of a crash retrieval program, Danny Sheehan is our witness who saw photographs. That's our proof. That's our all our proof. That doesn't work. So, and, you know, so I... Again, who cares about Arrow and the conclusion they came to? But I think any governing body or program or what panel or whatever, if they would have come to that conclusion based off just Danny and the photos he's seen, I don't think that's fair. We, like, we need a higher level of standard of evidence than that. So nothing against Danny and what he saw. I'm just saying, you know, what, what does it mean exactly? How I mean, he himself just said he's not a key player. I, I don't think that's a key piece of information, if I'm being honest. I just don't think we can trust these photos and video. You know, I just I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, goodness. Hang on, y'all. My thing just went haywire. Two seconds. Two seconds. Boom. Okay. Recovery programs. I participated in them. Do you think you that's know? likely? Is that likely that they're going to get people like that? Or do you think wait, they wait. got people like that? You th okay. Wait, did they just say he participated in them? Wait a second. 
you know, but the, but the bottom line is when you bring a person forward who says, you know, not, not only, you know, have I seen photographs of crash recovery programs, I participated in them. Do you think you that's know? likely? Wait, what? Am I confused here? Let, let me rewind this. I'm getting confused. No credible evidence that there's a crash recovery program. You yeah. know what I mean? That just was false. You know, but the, but the bottom line is when you bring a person forward who says, you know, not not only, you know, have I seen photographs of crash recovery programs, I participated in them. Do you think you that's know? likely? Is that likely that they're going to get people like that? Or do you think well, they've that... already got people like that? Do you th they've already got people like that. Okay, let me continue. Okay. And and so they've already got people like that. So you know, they... and they're just lined up and they're sitting there waiting to go. So and, that and, and okay. When you look at it, when you when you Okay, so he's not talking about himself. I think I misunderstood that. Let me back up a little bit more. Do you think well, they've that, already got people like that? You th okay, and and so they've already got people like that. Okay, so who are these people lined up and they're sitting there waiting to go? So and, that and, and okay. When you look at it when you when you've got not only the <laughs> poor Christian trying to get in a couple work. See, when people say to me, Patrick, stop talking over the guest, stop interrupting. And honestly, I know within that two hour plus conversations, there's only a few moments where people talk over each other and they say that I know they're trolling. It's like, come on, dude. I wasn't this wasn't this big interruption and you couldn't hear anything like calm down. Right. And you can see how it happens because you've got people that want to talk and you've got to step in to get follow up, to get contact, to get otherwise you know, so it happens. You know what I mean? That's just that's part of conversing. Show me a conversation where people just every once in a while don't talk over each other. You know, it happens. That's called a conversation. So anyway. People willing to come forward to assert it, uh, but to be able to corroborate it with the other witnesses. Uh, and then the, the staff of the United States Senate is willing to solicit that information from them and put them under oath and get it in a codified form so they're in possession of it. And then the leadership of the Senate Intelligence Committee is prepared to start having conversations about bringing them forward publicly right? Uh, and to, to, to break the log jam. When you ask, you know, what is it that's going to cause, you know, uh, Michael Turner to change his mind? It's not, it's not organizing even the majority of people in his 10th congressional district in Ohio that, uh, that they want him to do it. You know, it's when he's going to see that they can't stop the information from coming out. Well, clearly in not. Yeah. Structure, and another authoritative structure like the United States Senate Intelligence Committee has decided to go public with it. That's that's where you get the screws put on them. All right. I love getting you guys good deal. <laughs> nice Christian ad. Um, not a Christian ad, a ad by Christian. Harloff. Anyway, um, Hey, you got to support the show, y'all, right? You got to, that's how you pay the bills. Um, if you haven't already, please go subscribe to Christian's channel. Check out his videos. Again, he does, um, yeah, you know, UAP Tuesdays, right? Where he has these great interviews and stuff. So, um, again, I'll put a link in the description. Go check out the full interview. It's awesome. Honestly, it's a great interview, great conversation. Um, as well as anything Christian's going to put out um, as well. So, look, um, you know, this is interesting, right? What Danny's talking about. Um, I, I think he's starting to get the sense and like everyone is that podcasters, content creators, the public, people in the ufology, UFO community, we need answers. We need evidence. We need these things that have been talked about that are coming because you can start to see the implosions happening on UFO Twitter, you know, there's all kinds of implosions happening in drama. It's insane. I stay out of it because I don't care. You know how you can escape Twitter drama? You just don't go on Twitter because it doesn't go anywhere else. So just stay off of Twitter and you're good to go. Um, but it's happening. Content creators are leaving, right? Kurt Jaimongol, other content creators, pa um, podcasters, not, not leaving, but taking a break from this topic, right? stepping away for many reasons, right? Um, and it's these kind of things. 
it's these kind of frustrations of well, when are these people coming forward and that their stuff can be corroborated right we, we just how long do they think that's going to last that, that that right we're going to sit around without any corroboration or evidence i don't know how long they expect that to last um with the internet and the way it is like people won't forget that may have worked before in ufology but it's just not going to work anymore it's just that stuff is not going to work in this day and age with the kind of technology and app and the way we're able to reference right a date something someone said two years ago three four five six years ago boom pull up a clip here you go boom what about this what about this what about that and same goes for us content creators myself included right i'm sure you could go back through all my videos and vet it boom 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 mistake 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 uh, when it doubt me i mean that's just life um but you know i was thinking while watching that video like I mean, I guess we've talked about it before on the channel, and I think a lot of people agree, uh, vetters that, that watch, and maybe some of you that are watching maybe don't agree, but why do we need the government? We just don't need the government, right? Especially the American sensibility, right? Depending on how you think about things in America and our government, getting government involved in anything never goes well, which is why we have capitalism, right? That's why we have private health care here. We don't have public health care. Um, lots of things, right? get privatized in a lot of ways because supposedly that it runs better that way but why are we getting the government involved we're going to let them control disclosure and all this stuff right like that seems like the, just the more i think about it god I used to be so gung-ho for that too and i don't know man the more i move along the less i just care about that not saying i don't want it to happen i just not interested in it because it's an endless game, right? You're waiting for politics to change. That, that stuff moves like a snail, you know? Trying to get legislation passed. I mean, hearings, like what are we, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't just be focused on that day to day. You gotta be focused on other things and just when it comes, it comes, right? Uh, but involving the government giving them control over it just seems like a bad way to go. Why don't we privatize it, right? Why, why? And you may be saying, oh, well, what about the private aerospace company? Yeah, yeah, I get it. You know, they're working with the government though. I don't know, I, I just think, I don't know, man. I'm just saying anytime you involve the government in anything, it, it, it typically doesn't work out well. Not about everything, but when it comes to like monitoring things or whatever, that's different, right? Like we got fire department, we got police, we got the military, right? Infrastructure, certain things that just kind of go day to day that we can handle. Um, but when it comes to something like this, monitoring UAPs, yeah, but trying to get to the truth, it's almost like of what we have recovered and whatnot, right? I don't know. It's like, why don't we get billionaires and go approach these private aerospace companies, and start offering some money, do something. There's gotta be some rich people out there that wanna see some changes, right? Who believe in this. So I don't know, I'm just, again, getting the government involved with disclosure. It, it, it just seems like a frustrating road to go down and it is. Um, but you know, you can occupy yourself with just many parts of ufology and you don't really even have to focus on that. It, honestly, it's becoming the least, the most least interesting, the most least, that doesn't sound, <laughs> the least interesting part of ufology is covering that. It's just, it's become boring, right? In the sense that, I don't know, you know, we don't even know what's happening. More hearings come public here, okay. You know, let, and I get it, it takes time. Okay, I do, I realize that. I'm saying that I realize that. Um, but we also don't know if it's ever gonna happen. Think about many fights legally, right, in America. I, I, just, I just don't see how we would win this in the end, right? If it's the biggest secret for mankind, all of this stuff, right? How are we going to, I don't know, maybe I'm, thinking about it wrong guys I think I need to just take some time and think about this uh to be honest with you all right look um 
We'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode, right? 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Remember, every day is a gift. Um, don't forget, check out the description for other links. Um, our Discord server is popping off. So, again, link in the description. Go check that off. Become a member today, a special vetter. Um, and Patreon, go to our website, vetted.show. Our um, weekly meeting is coming up every Friday night. Um, well, for now it is. Uh, but go check it. If you're watching this at a different time, go check and see what, what day and time it is um, because we do change it every once in a while. So, all right, y'all. We'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode. Remember, every day's a gift, y'all. Peace.